After a painful, tough patch in her four-year marriage, singer Ellie Goulding wanted a sunny holiday thousands of miles away from the prying eyes of the public and cameras. She would undoubtedly have the mental space she needed to figure out how to mend her rocky marriage to Casper Jopling if she spent carefree days on the beach in Costa Rica, swimming, surfing, and not worrying about the widening gap between them. However, no one was in any doubt when photos shot by a local photographer this week showed the 37-year-old having fun in the wave sands her wedding band and with a hunky and attractive surfing instructor named Armando Perez. The end of Ellie's fairy tale has arrived. A source close to the singer said this week, Ellie and Casper have been over for some time now but there was this whole carry-on of them pretending to be together. For more than 18 months, her management company has insisted that she and Casper, with whom she has a three-year-old son, Arthur, were determined to save their marriage. It's over, that much is true. Ellie didn't want anyone to realize that she had moved on some time ago but there's no turning back now that she's enjoying other men's company. It is really depressing, particularly since they have a young child named Arthur, but they are unable to sort things out, and unhappily, a divorce is the inevitable result. The marriage cannot be salvaged in any way, even though that wasn't the exact result they were hoping for, that's where they are now. Ellie is prepared to date other guys, and Casper will undoubtedly re-enter the dating scene shortly if he hasn't already. When Ellie found out about the pictures, everything got a little awkward, the person continued. There had to be some embarrassing exchanges because she didn't think Armando would see her all the way over in Costa Rica. One buddy acknowledged that the photos could have been worse, though. The Brit Award winner, who wed the guy she believed to be, the one, in a glamorous ceremony at York Minster back in the summer of 2019, has met a tragic end. Ellie had a challenging upbringing, growing up in a social home in Herefordshire with a stepfather she detested and a single mother who worked at a supermarket. While studying music and acting at the University of Kent, her musical ability was discovered at an open mic night, and her ascent to fame is frequently portrayed as a rags to riches story. Her 2010 first album catapulted her onto the A list of celebrities, and in 2011 she accepted an invitation to sing at Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding reception, performing Sir Elton John's Your Song. She had dated Ed Sheeran, Niall Horan, and Radio 1 DJ Greg James before she met Casper. According to reports, she and Casper, 32, were introduced by their mutual friend Princess Eugenie, who was acquainted with him via her social contacts and connections in the art world. In 2016, while Casper was employed with Sotheby's as an art dealer, the couple had dinner together with friends in New York. I was exhausted that night and I almost didn't go, Ellie said, capping a tour. In addition, she had recently broken up with boy band McFly vocalist Dougie Pointer, with whom she had dated since 2014. Nobody could have imagined the date would go as well as it did. Casper, the son of the Honorable Nicholas Jopling, was raised in stark contrast to Ellie's upbringing. He was educated at Eton and Harvard and hails from an affluent Yorkshire Dales farming family. Nevertheless, despite coming from quite different backgrounds, they became engaged very quickly, and three years later, they were married at Castle Howard, the elegant house used for the brideshead revisited filming. Ellie gave it her all. She arrived in a blue camper van, wearing a full-length Chloe gown and a £150,000 ring on her finger. Among the attendees were Orlando Bloom, James Blunt, Katy Perry, and Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice. Arthur Everwinter Jopling was welcomed into the family in April of 2021. It appeared that they were content. However, their relationship was reportedly showing signs of strain two years prior, and Ellie was residing at the couple's West London property while Casper was relocating to their second residence. At the time, a source confirmed, it's true that there is an issue. Even though they currently live apart and own two homes, they still interact with Arthur on a regular basis. After that, they briefed the media on their efforts to get over a tough patch. But Zach Goldsmith, a former Tory MP, was waiting in the wings. 
Ellie's interest in environmental problems led to the improbable friendship with the son of late billionaire investor Sir James Goldsmith, who was educated at Eton. Despite Team Ellie's constant insistence that they didn't interact outside of environmental obligations, a pal has revealed that they were a thing of sorts. Ellie and Casper were rumored to have attempted to salvage their marriage again around that time, in September of last year. They were last spotted together at a Ricky Gervais event in London four weeks ago. However, any optimism that they had made up this week was dashed when Ellie left Casper behind and took a wellness break vacation to Costa Rica with her closest pals, who one person on social media referred to as girls on tour. Close friend and Sony Records executive Cassandra Gracie shared images of the holiday, sharing their descriptions of playing games and doing yoga. She looked good and content as she arrived at the beach, in fact. The local surf school owner Perez was observed giving her an embrace and giving her a tender head kiss. Additionally, she was seen attempting surfing with his guidance. Although it could appear to be a one-time vacation flying to the outside world, people close to her claim that is not the case and that she flew to Costa Rica to see Perez after their meeting last month. However, Ellie is having a headache as a result of the photograph's release. She quickly announced to friends and business associates that she was now officially single after finding out she had been spotted. In light of recent stories, I feel I have been left with no choice but to let you all know that Casper and I privately separated some time ago, the woman said on Instagram last night that we have been effectively co-parenting with our son's best interests in mind, and we are still the best of friends. We pledge to maintain the privacy of our family, and we appreciate everyone's observance of our requests, we will not be responding to any more comments. I'm grateful, X. Ellie will be back at work on Saturday at the Brit Awards, where she will perform alongside 2013 love partner Calvin Harris. It will be Ellie's big moment to say, I'm back, an insider added. She is eager. What is now circulating in the music industry, though, is who she will be walking the red carpet with on her biggest night of the year.